Creating a Global Sustainability Cooperative. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 183. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 183, September 25th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, Designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner-teacher collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the second 25% of the written content for the personal growth lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of personal growth is now 50% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the third 25% of the written content for the personal growth lesson plan. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team added some additional content, reviewed, and made edits to the live version of the Transition Kitchen page. You can see images of that work here. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued updating the formatting of the pages for the upcoming Seven Villages online book. This week's work focused on multiple revisions and updates of the Duplicle City Center pages and the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6 presentations, which you can see here. The core team also put another 10 hours into the behind the scenes revision for the footers, foundations, and flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week, we finished our comprehensive review of the FFF doc and passed it forward to begin professional review and editing by Ashwini Ramesh, civil engineer and project manager. This done, our efforts then moved to researching waterproofing paint, where we found appropriate options to effectively use against stucco cracks because the product contains Portland cement. We also wrote a new narrative for the EPS puzzle based on a different numbering layout. Here's the updated SketchUp image with the new EPS layout numbers and a corrected width of the wet dome. In addition to this, Brianna Johnson, interior designer, added final Photoshop details to the Straw Bale Village Pod 2 apartment loft render, this finalized version of the apartment living room, this finalized apartment bedroom render, this finalized apartment bathroom render, and this finalized library workspace render. Also, these second generation renders of the gym, kitchen, outdoor benches, outdoor fire pit, playground, and outdoor walkway areas. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 37 of his work that finalized the overview render and further developed the shadows, 
textures, and other aesthetic details of this perspective render looking east from in front of the village. And Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD draftsperson and designer, continued evolving the compressed earth block village pod 4. You can see his ninth week of work here that primarily focused on redesigning the rooftop recreation space. Also, Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, continued using Hamilton's work to build the compressed earth block village pod 4 in 3D. What you see here is his fourth week of this work inputting all the primary walls and other structures in 3ds Max. Last but certainly not least, Yi Ching Ho, interior designer, began helping us create new exploded views for the shipping container village pod 5 and recycled materials village pod 6. You can see her initial renders here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued developing the aesthetic details around the natural pool in the social dome. The texture of the first floor was changed from wooden to polished concrete. Two structural columns were decorated to look like beautiful trees, and a couple of different benches were placed around the columns. We also updated the texture of the water in the pool and added a couple of underwater lights. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, and Shuna Nee, masters of mechanical engineering and civil engineering PhD, also continued their work and completed what we think will be the final placement for the city center columns, as seen here. Neha Verma, construction project manager and bachelor's of architecture, also continued developing the city center project brief that will update the city center plans page when complete. This week's focus was the chart seen here, starting to outline the specific square footage of every room and the type of flooring they will each have. And Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, also continued with her 16th week of work on the lighting zones, completing what we think are the final outlines. Her last areas revised can be seen here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team further updated our terms and conditions page with the help of Oz Zersky, lawyer specializing in trademark and copyright law. The additions shown here are in response to litigation making news because it involves a company selling and trying to limit use of someone else's intellectual property that was placed by the intellectual property owner in the open domain for free use. This week, Jennifer Zhao, web designer, completed her 11th week of work developing the new website structure. The focus continued on properly coding the responsiveness details for the header, introduction video, and newly added information box. One community is creating a global sustainability cooperative. The way that we're doing that is by building the first of a global network of teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs designed to teach others how to create teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs too. And the way that we are intending to enroll people in the process of building these teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs is by demonstrating that living in the way that we're proposing is better than the way that most people are living right now provides more of the things that they want, more time with their friends and family, more things to do with their time, and more freedom, basically freedom in all aspects of their lives. So the way that we're accomplishing that is by creating an evolution of sustainability that takes the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combines them with the emotional foundations of sustainability that we have identified as highest good education, highest good economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. And we're putting these things together to demonstrate a teacher demonstration model, village, a model village, a model community, a model hub, or city, could be built as a complete city, which is what we are working up to, that will be the launch point for creating a global sustainability cooperative. One community being the first, and ultimately inviting hundreds of thousands of people to come and experience what it is that we're doing, and everything that people like, any aspect of one community that people like, is designed to be replicated because we are open sourcing and free sharing all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions to replicate the entire model. 
either as a complete teacher demonstration community village city or hub or just as an individual component just the food component just the energy component just the fulfilled living model just the highest good education model in small pieces for that as well so either as a complete model or as each of the individual components and there are several all of which are designed to be implemented individually or as the complete model and so as we open source and free share all of this, we will continue to evolve it. We'll continue to check and double check everything, all the planning and all the details that we've done and continue to grow the open source resources, inviting others to participate and anybody that would like to help, anybody that would like to get involved. And so this is my request to you. If this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if it sounds exciting to you to create a global sustainability cooperative, we invite you to participate and we will continue to invite people to participate indefinitely. I get emails all the time from people saying, oh, I'd like to build this, I'd like to build that. And our answer is always the same. Great. If you'd like to finish what it is that we're working on faster for you, for us, and for the world, let's work on it together. And so some people take us up on that. Some people do not. Right now, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. A lot of people see that and they don't want to participate. But the people that are participating, the pioneer team, which is the core group of one community that makes all the decisions that is working together and organizing everything and will ultimately move to the property and build all that is one community, as well as our group of volunteers, our collaborative partners and volunteers, the team members working behind the scenes that are just volunteering their time and donating their expertise to help develop everything. Just us working together. We have accomplished so much, hundreds of pages of content, Tens of thousands of hours of work accomplished, designing the seven villages, designing the city center, designing the food infrastructure, all the details, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of hours have gone into each of the different components. And so this is how we're moving forward. Of course, you don't have to just participate in that way. A lot of people say, well, I just want some easy way to help out. Well, the easiest way to help out is just to share our information on social media. You know, share the idea of creating a global sustainability cooperative, join the cooperative just by helping us share through social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. And when I say all, I mean all. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on Tumblr, we're on Reddit. We're on about 15 other social media networks because we understand that the idea of creating a global cooperative means that we need to provide the information that people want in the way that works best for them. And so we engage all of the different social media networks every single week with these updates and we make it easy through our website to share all of our content, and all of our information, so that people can get it in the hands of the people that want or need or are most interested in it. This is how one community is creating a global sustainability cooperative. Now people say, well, what is the largest thing that people can do to help you out? What is the number one greatest thing that people could do to contribute to one community? Well, we are still seeking large scale funding. Our entire organization is unpaid. Our volunteers are unpaid, I'm unpaid, our entire group is a nonprofit, unpaid volunteer staff. But we're still seeking that large scale funding to be able to purchase the property, to get that property off the market, get into the ownership of the one community nonprofit organization. So if you or somebody you know would be interested in either investing in one community or in donating to our 501c3 to help us do that, uh, we would love to speak with you. That would be the next big step. Being able to get the property off the market would allow us to do site surveys and other details. It would solidify that, it would allow us to share that location so that we could lock it in and say, yes, this is where it is. And you know, the two and a half years that we spent finding that location would fully come to fruition. And the 30 different criteria that we use to identify that location would be able to be fully realized and shared and expressed and, uh, and shared with the world. And so that's the biggest thing that people could do to help. But in the meantime, we're going to continue working on the blueprints, the tools, the tutorials, the resources. Even without the property, we are walking the walk. We are doing what it is we're here to do. We are developing the open source blueprints. We are collaborating with over 50 different people every single week to help develop everything that it is, plus our core team. We're continuing to move forward as quickly as we can, building the team, looking for more management so we could build the team even faster, and leading an existing global sustainability cooperative that will only get larger as we build the first teacher demonstration hub that will only get larger as we truly demonstrate this evolution of sustainability so that other people can come and visit it and experience it that will truly show people how it is they can come and experience and see specifically how it is that we are simultaneously addressing all of the foundations of our world's challenges because we see them as not only interrelated but is interdependent. 
so people can come and experience all the open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, resources, do-it-yourself instructions for themselves and take what it is that they like and replicate it or modify it in the way that they want because it's all open source and because they'll be able to come to a place and actually experience an earth bag village, actually experience a straw bale village, actually experience the duplicate city center, the fulfilled living models, the true earth stewardship, all the different components. This is what one community is doing. So if you'd like more details, if you'd like more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. If this is interesting to you and you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. And uh, for all the people that have been following us or all the comments that we get, for the little donations, the $5, the $10, all those things that help cover our operational expenses, we of course say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for following our progress. Thank you for watching the end of the video. And uh, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.